a torrid journey that could be anybody's. But once we are not there yet, we completely forget about the others there, thinking we shall never be there. The core functions of the Ghana Prison Service are spelled out in Section 1 of NRCD 46 1972 are as follows ensuring the safe custody of prisoners and execution of sentences in a humane manner, ensuring the welfare of prisoners through protection of their rights and providing them with good health care, clothing, bedding, feeding recreation and library facilities among other amenities and ensuring the reformation and rehabilitation of prisoners by offering them opportunities to develop their skills through trade training and moral education unfortunately the service is confronted with numerous challenges that have hindered attainment of these objectives the Ghana prison service is currently facing a lot of challenges the prison system is in such a deplorable state that day in day out, prisoners are being subjected to very inhumane prison conditions. This is why Project Fiasse is very important to every Ghana. Please come on board, save the Ghana Prison Service. They need to Project Fiasse to make the prison system an effective one. With a prison capacity of 9,000, the country's prisons now have an inmate population of 15,000 without a corresponding expansion in facilities to accommodate the large numbers. 725 blocks under stamp block leader of this block. We are 620 in this block and we have only six toilets in this block. But it is not all the toilets that are functioning. And when in the morning, if we are going to toilets, because it is not all the toilets that are functioning, we have to queue. And some of the inmates have to also go out there and go and ease themselves. We have a man who that is where four people join themselves and ease themselves. So in case somebody is rushing to toilets and you, the person kneeling down, before the other person comes to also bend down the, all the toilet pours at your back. There's no water, especially when there's light off. When the pressure goes on the prison administration, they have to go to the headquarters, request for a, a truck to fetch us water. When we go to the last cell, because there's no space, we lifted the beds up after the students were up and down. We inmates have to sleep down the bed. We are appealing to all those out there that if there's any help that they can help us, they should come to help us. Because if we say we are waiting for the government, the government cannot take all this into their shoulders. Because when you are in prison doesn't mean maybe you are an outcast or you are not among the society. You are still a Ghanaian. If you look around, these are very young men, potential workforce for this nation. We certainly need to do something about them. As Ghana, the Democratic credentials of Ghana is said that we don't need to have prisons of the nature we have now. Certainly there's a lot more that all of us can do to help improve the situation. We want intervention and training them and giving them education so they return back to society better 
than the killing. Many occasions when somebody is uh, sent on remand, the family members forget about the person. The person more or less is branded as a social misfit. But that is not the issue. It could not necessarily be that they committed the offence. It could be that um, they didn't know how to talk in court or to get uh, a lawyer to handle the matter for them or maybe um, how they went through with respect to the police investigations that might have landed them there when they go on remand. They are pleading with the government and um, the judicial service to kindly come to our aid. We are honorable citizens, citizens of Ghana and we can work. Look at the young guys here. Yeah, we are just wasting our time here. I've been here for five years. Others have been here for seven years, eight years. Most of the guys here have been given bail but still here in the system. The few infirmaries do not only lack basic drugs and equipment, and the required vehicles to convey referred inmates to their destination. Uh, we want to appeal to government, to corporate Ghana, and to well-meaning individuals to contribute to help us refinish um, the theater so it can serve the purpose for which it was set up. The prison service believes equipping inmates with skills training is an effective way of reducing recidivism. Unfortunately, most prison workshops lack the required tools to train and equip inmates to contribute to society on their release. We are appealing to the Ghana government, individual people, the market women, the companies, so that they can come to our end and help us so that we can gain more materials to weave more and more so that the other inmates can get something that the service has the potential to become the agricultural giant of the nation is undisputable with large tracts of land, labor and officers with the required expertise in agriculture at the disposal of the service, the prison service with the needed push could become the citadel of the country's agriculture. Our major problem over the years has been the resources to work with, especially capital investment. If you look at the area here, we basically we do cultivation of vegetables and then legumes as well as uh, grains. But the problem we've had is that we depend on rainfall and the rainfall has been very, very erratic. This year, for example, we did over 60 acres of maize, but because of the rainfall intensity and distribution, greater part of it didn't do well. We have just one single tractor, which is over 25 years old. Irrigation facility that will make it possible for us to produce throughout the year because we have every capacity to fill the market with vegetables. We are ever ready to accept any investor that is coming. We have the manpower there. The prisoners are there. They are doing nothing. We want to train them for them to come out and feed themselves into society so that when they come out, they can also establish their own farm. We need tractors. We need combined harvesters. We need dryers. And we need warehouses where we can store large produce from the farms. We would like to appeal to civil society organizations, we would like to appeal to development partners, the government NGOs, philanthropists to come to our aid to help us increase production. A look around our barracks will reveal how depressing the housing situation is. Prison officers live in a room which can best be described as a cubicle. They live there with their dependents, their house helps, and it is actually an eyesore. We are also calling on the government to come in and help us. We go through hell to change the prisoner in here. And most of them have actually genuinely repented. They've come out of their criminal activities. They've come out of their criminal attitudes and behavior. And they are going out as if they've done nothing innocent. Our prisons are in a deplorable state. It does not reflect the highly held view that the Ghanaian is very hospitable. And that is what the Prison Service Council is launching Project Ifiasi to raise funds to help us complete the reforms agenda. I'm asking you watching me and listening to me. You and your household, no amount is too small. I'm calling on the embassies, corporate bodies, religious groups to donate any amount so we can transform Ghana prisons and make it centers of excellence. The prison is everybody's second home. 
those in there will come out anyway. If they are not reformed and transformed, they will pose a threat to your life. Come, let's join hands and make the prisons a better place. God bless you.